Hey guys, it's Comp Hollywood Studios here. We are here at Six Flags Great Adventure for the first night of Fright Fest. Now it's time for Fright Fest to begin. That was great. We're now inside the park. They got some fresh maps here for Fright Fest. Time to enjoy our day. Looks like they have stuff already set up for Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest doesn't start till tomorrow, but very excited to see what they wind up doing with Oktoberfest. Up ahead is one of the new shows for Fright Fest this year, The Freak Show. So, Fears and the Manor are back for Fright Fest this year. Fright Fest stuff doesn't start till a little later, so we're gonna start our day off with King Yika. did three rides on King Ka. It is running insanely fast. Out of my seat, the entire top hat. So, so fast, Fernando. That was your first ever time on King Ka. This is also your first ever time in a coaster video on the channel. What'd you think? It was all right. It was kind of scary though. That's it? The pressure was on. You were screaming the whole ride. Yeah, I hate Tom though. I hate you, man. Me too. Why? <laughs> what did he do to you? <laughs> Tom, how was Scott running today? Uh, I, I don't know. I heard some noise. No, that's that's why Fernando hates me. Um, no, the ride was running great out of the seat on the top hat the entire time. Haven't been on this in a while, and it's everything I remember is awesome. Ace, how was Ka? Ka's, that's why my name is Mr. Ka, because Ka's great like always. Mr. Ka. Mr. Ka. Mr. Toro, your cousin? No. <laughs> this is a total different world. <laughs> but oh. King the Ka was great. We had the first ride of the day. In the front row. Yeah. With Colin for Hollywood Studios. Awesome. Dad, how was Ka? Amazing. I cannot believe how fast it was running. It was so fast. It was ridiculous. Now we're going to probably either get some food or check out what's going on for Fright Fest. Now it's time to start our night on the Manor and Fears, the two mazes that are indoor down here on the boardwalk. Again, here's the Freak Show. Get a better close-up view now. Should be a really, really good show. Show times, Friday and Saturday, 6, 7, 15, 8, 30, 9, 45. Sunday, 6 o'clock, 7, 15, and 8, 30. But... Let's check out the fears and the manor. We just got out of fears, which scared Fernando and Brandon very good. Now we're gonna go through the manor. Brandon, Ace, how was the trail? How was the trail? We just got out of manor. How was the trail? It was excellent. Ace, great. Tom, pretty good. Dad, it was good. Fernando, I've seen things better, worse in the bedroom. Oh come on! Come on! Now it's time for Big Top Terror. We just got out of Big Top Terror, which might have been the best maze yet. It was really well decorated. Lots of people inside scaring. Ace, Ace, what'd you think? Better than last year. That's it? It's really good. That's it's it? Different, yeah. Oh, it was definitely better than last year. There's a lot of people yeah. working in there. Just like they changed the layout a little they bit, too. They changed the layout, and it's with those glasses, very disoriented. So. What'd you guys think? It was really good. <laughs> Brandon? The dopamine is flooding. Yeah. Now we go into the Lady of the Lake Cemetery. Now we're here at the area by the Joker. This 
Street. Scarecrow Street. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Blood Drums has returned for Fright Fest this year. Up there, that little seat right there, that is actually a sky coaster seat. You can ride this like a sky coaster, like Daredevil Dive here at Great Adventure. That is an absolute must do right there. The seat is not available quite yet, but it will be very soon. Looks like my prediction was right, and they did wind up reusing the pinwheel tunnel here. That actually looks really cool. This is more traditional Halloween stuff. Of course, we have the giant, uh, Pumpkin face right here. Now we're going to check out Reflections of the Dead, the Halloween themed mirror maze, since usually it winds up with a long line later in the day, so let's check it out now. We just got out of Reflections of the Dead. How was that, Fernando? I kind of hit one of the people. Ace, how was that? Pretty interesting and unique. Brandon? I love the mirrors. Cool, as usual. It's pretty interesting, yeah, I like it. Brandon, I'm guessing you love the mirrors because you love to see yourself. You no, know, it was like made it seamless, like that walking into myself. Ah. <laughs> and now we enter Clown Town. We'll be sure to ba walk back through here later tonight as all the scare actors will be out. You won't be able to see that well. But this is always one of the best scare zones in the whole park. The people need the burger. Time to eat the best burger in the park, Fat Burger. Now it's time to go for a sunset ride on Nitro. <laughs> Nothing like no wait for Nitro during break <laughs> We just did three rides on Jersey Devil. At least I did three rides. All right, now we are back in Clown Town at night. Over there in the old Batman stunt arena is where Dead Man's Party takes place, right next to Wonder Woman. Now we're gonna go check out the maze Aftermath, which is located right next to Cyborg and Justice League over here in Metropolis. Looks like we can just walk right in. See you guys on the other side of the maze. It actually looks very different this year. We just got out of Aftermath, which is totally redone. It's got a brand new theme, sort of. Brand new layout, brand new scenery. It was really cool. Dad, what'd you think? It looked good. A lot of the props, they were you could tell they were fresh. There was a lot of detail really cool. Ace, was, what'd you think? It was pretty good, better than last year's version. Aftermath's the second revamped trail and it was great. I love the new changes. Jack, who finally joined us? Oh yeah, it was pretty good. I have, yeah. haven't been on any other, other ones this year, so. Brandon? It was great! Oh, Fernando? <laughs> it was all right. Come on, those people. We're gonna head into Exile Canyon in just a bit, but first, we're gonna go over here and check out Bloodshed, which is the final maze we have to check out tonight. It's time for Bloodshed. So we just finished the final maze of the night, Bloodshed. Jack, what do you think of Bloodshed? I thought it was pretty good. Brandon definitely enjoyed it, right? Yeah, yeah Brandon, they were all calling your name. Yes, I love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tom? Uh, Bloodshed was one of the better ones. I liked it. It was a pretty long maze, too. I It, it was cool. The longest maze in the park. Pretty, pretty damn good. Now we are entering the final scare zone we have to go through. 
Exile Canyon, which is supposedly themed to fit in with Medusa's theme, so let's go check it out. So we just got off of Mine Train, and guys, what's the consensus? The premium experience of Six Flags Good at Adventure. That was premium, Ace? Premium experience. Very premium. <laughs> premium experience. It's time to ride Medusa for like the 50th time this year. Now we're going to go back through Lady of the Lake Cemetery, this time at night. Purple looks awesome in here. Now we're going to take a ride on one of the coolest rides in the whole park. Houdini's Great Escape. got off of Houdini and if I haven't stressed it enough throughout my videos that you guys may have seen please ride Houdini it is seriously one of the coolest rides at any park especially at a Six Flags park this is probably one of the best non coasters at the park it's just such a cool ride almost Disney level it's really something you got to check out I don't know. <laughs> Over here we have a little bit of the menu for Oktoberfest. There will be more Oktoberfest content next week. We'll be at uh, the media day here for Oktoberfest. We'll be able to show you all the food and everything going along with the event as well as Kids Boo Fest. But I'm very, very excited to see what Oktoberfest is about. It does actually start tomorrow, Saturday, uh, uh, September 17th. So come check it out if you're not doing anything. There's going to be a lot of really cool food here and it just looks like it's gonna be a really, really great event. And just look at some of the food they have here. Definitely not stuff you'd see normally. They also have the Johnny Rockets Pavilion over here completely decked out for Oktoberfest, which looks really, really cool. heading out for the night at a Fright Fest, but it was great. Jack and Tom are gonna stick around, but Jack, how was Fright Fest? It was pretty good. Not as great as like 2019, but you know. I think it's cool that Fright Fest is back in full swing. The new revamped mazes look great. Uh, the midways look cool, and I'm sure it'll get better as we get closer to Halloween. So far, it's really good start. That's gonna do it for our night, the first night here at Fright Fest at Six Flags. Great adventure, it's a really, really good event. Like I said earlier, we'll have some Oktoberfest and Fright Fest Trail POVs coming next week. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.